First new launch in Lorong Chuan after 14 years and doorstep to MRT, the next mega development project that is the talk of the town. Introducing Chuan Park. There's definitely pan out demand for this particular plot of land as the last launch in the area was actually the Scala, which was in 2009, almost 15 years ago. Trumpa is actually an on block site, and Kingsford Development and MCC Land are the parties behind the 890 million offer for Trumpa. For MCC, some of the projects that they have done are One Burden, Landmark, and Seneca Residences. As for Kingsford Development, one of the most famous projects I believe you guys also know about it is Nomentum Park, Kingsford Water Bay and more. Let me share more about Tron Park location. Number one, Lorong Tron MRT is right at the doorstep of Tron Park. Via the Circle Line, you can access the North-South Line via the Bishan MRT which is one stop away or North-East Line via the Serangoon MRT which is also one stop away. Number two, Within one kilometer radius to good schools such as Guo Chuan Presbyterian Primary School, St. Gabriel's Primary School, Zhonghua Primary, CHIJ, and also Yangzhen Primary School. Number three, within a two kilometer radius, Trump Park has a high number of HDB upgraders. You will have a healthy pool of buyers in the future looking to upgrade. This can be your exit strategy too. Let us take a look at the land bid and do take note this is before the harmonisation ruling. After factoring in the construction costs, land costs and more, the break-even cost estimated is 2229 Since we don't have the indicative pricing yet, let's take a look at in terms of 10%, 15%, 20% break-even margin. Usually, Developers tend to launch around at least 15% break-even margin and since Trump Park is a mega development project, in my own opinion, I feel that the developer may launch a little bit more sensitively at the start to clear off a certain number of units. Talking about mega development, people tend to have the perspective that mega projects have too many units, overcrowded and may not perform well. So let's have a look at the past mega projects. There are over 900 units. Number one, Nomentum Park. It has a land size of 61,409 square meter, total units 1,862, and it was TOP in 2023. As you can see, the highest profit is actually 537,801. Number two, Treasure at Tampanese. It has a land size of 65,233 square meter, total units 2,225. It was TOP in 2023. And the highest profit is actually 981,000. Number three, Affinity at Serangoon. It has a land size of 27,584, total units of 1,052, and it was TOP in 2023. Highest profit is actually 875,000. Number four, the Florence Residences. It has a land size of 36,161 square meter, total units 1,410, and it was TOP in 2023. The highest profit is actually 651,000. Overall, these mega projects are performing pretty well and, in fact, doing great in capital appreciation. There is still solid demand over the past two to three years for this kind of mega project. Hence, with Tron Park being the next mega development located in a highly sought after location, it has the potential to actually perform well in the future, especially when there is pent up demand over the last 14 years in this area itself. Let us take a look at the surrounding project performance. Since Trump Park is a mega project with 916 units, we will look into the projects in the surrounding area that are more than 300 units within 2 km radius from Trump Park and TOP year 1995 onwards. So here are the projects. Number 1, Chelton Park. Number 2, The Spring Boom. Number 3, Golden Hill Park Condo. Number 4, Sangli. And number 5, The Scala. Number 1, Chelton Park. As you can see, it has hit 6.02% of average annualized gain. Number two, the spring boom. As you can see also, 
is hitting a 5.15% of average annualized gain. Number three, Golden Hill Park Condo. This is actually hitting 4.7% of average annualized gain. Number four, Sunglade Condo, hitting 5.35% of average annualized gain. And number five, the Scala. This is actually also hitting 2.92% of average annualized gain. All projects nearby, even though they are much older by 14 years, and more have a majority of profitable transactions over non-profitable transactions. Even with the Scala, which was the newest development in the area before Trump Park, it is now already transacting at average 1,800 XX PSF. When it was first launched, it was at a higher PSF compared to the other developments. However, till today, the growth for the Scala has hit an estimated of 61%. This is because people tend to prefer newer developments that have a better efficient layout too. Let's compare a new launch that is more similar to Trump Park, and that is Grand Diamond, which is a project that hits at least 70% sold. Comparing Grand Diamond and Waterbank at Dakota, both are pretty close to each other and there is an age gap. Using mid-floor price, Waterbank at Dakota is transacting at 18xx PSF, which is similar to the Scala. Hence, if we were to compare Chuan Park and Grand Diamond, Grand Diamond Mid Floor Level 7 is transacting at 2,711 PSF. Hence, if Chuan Park 10th floor at 26xx PSF is pretty reasonable. If below 25xx PSF, it will be undervalued. Let's take a look at the site plan. The land size of Trump Park is 37,215 square meter and it consists of 5 blocks, 2 blocks of 19 storeys and 3 blocks of 20 storeys. There are a total of 916 units ranging from 2 bedrooms all the way to 5 bedrooms. What I feel is a bonus point is that all 3 blocks are not fully directly facing each other giving you privacy. For those inner facing, there is still a distance due to the facilities I would say the landscaping is also done up pretty nice and there are three pools and even a tennis court. In terms of pricing strategy, we categorize into four different facing, the inner pool facing, landed facing, spring boom facing and the Scala Nanyang Junior College facing. Those units facing the spring boom, which is a high rise development, hence it may be the not so premium stacks. Overall, I feel developer may price it in this order. Most expensive to the least expensive. First, landed facing. Number two, pool facing. Number three, the Scala Nanyang JC facing. And number four, the Spring Boom facing. For this development, all their unit types have a few non-PVVC wall, which means it is hackable, giving you more flexibility. Let's take a look at their two-bedroom floor plan. For the two-bedroom unit type, it is 44%, almost half of the total units. There are three different unit types. Number one, the two-bedroom standing at 700 square feet. Number two, two-bedroom plus study, enclosed study version, standing at 732 square feet. And number three, the two-bedroom plus study, open study version, standing at 743 square feet. For the 700 square feet, there is only one layout to choose from. One of the drawbacks that I feel for this layout is that it has an open concept kitchen and the bathroom has no windows. For the 732 square feet, it has a dumbbell layout which means no wasted space. Maximize efficiency. It has an enclosed study area which is quite feasible if you are planning to partition it into a study room or making it into a walk-in wardrobe. Lastly, for the 743 square feet, the rooms and the study area are being tucked to one side instead of the dumbbell layout concept. However, one thing that is interesting is that the study area is right in the centre. If you are someone who likes an open concept living and dining space, this layout may suit you better. Let's take a look at our three bedroom floor plans. 
Moving on to the three bedroom classic, three bedroom deluxe, and three bedroom premium units. There are seven unit layout types, covering 47% of the total units in Tron Park. Three bedroom of 915 square feet, 936 square feet, and 958 square feet. Three bedroom deluxe of 1023 square feet and 1033 square feet. And also three bedroom premium of 1206 square feet and 1227 square feet. For the three bedroom, 915 square feet and 936 square feet are pretty similar and the only difference is the long entrance foyer for the 936 square feet. Whereas for 958 square feet, you have a home shelter and it has an efficient living and dining with no wasted space. For the three bedroom, two bath deluxe unit type, there are two types, 1023 and 1033 square feet. The difference is actually the home shelter, kitchen and also the entrance foyer space. For 1023 square feet, you have a spacious foyer, which is more privacy and you can also place a shoe cabinet. The kitchen is sort of eating up into your living and dining space. And lastly, the home shelter is in rectangular shape. Whereas for 1033 square feet, there is minimal entrance for your space, maximum space efficiency. The kitchen is tucked in one corner, allowing your living and dining area with no wasted space. And lastly, the home shelter is in a squarish shape. For the three bedroom, three bath premium unit type, there are two types of 1206 square feet layout and also a 1227 square feet layout. For the 1206 square feet layout, the two different types, the main key difference is actually the home shelter. One of the home shelter is on the right when you enter the entrance foyer, whereas the other type, it does not have any home shelter, but instead, it has a store at the end of the kitchen. For the 1227 square feet, it has an entrance foyer space and also a home shelter at the centre of the house. Moving on to the four bedroom floor plans, there are two unit layouts. Number one, 1335 square feet with three bathrooms or 1389 square feet with four bathrooms. For the 1335 square feet, you don't have an extra WC at the back of the kitchen and there is a storeroom in the living and dining space. Whereas for the 1389 square feet, you have a home shelter on the left when you enter and washer dryer spot plus WC at the back of the kitchen. Living dining space is much more efficient rather than having a storeroom located at one corner as seen in 1335 square feet layout. Moving on to the five bedroom floor plan. There is only one layout, one stack, and it is also located with a premium view facing the landed. This is standing at 1,550 square feet. For this unit type, you have a dumbbell layout concept where the junior master bedroom is tucked to the right and the other rooms are tucked to the left. You have a spacious entrance foyer giving you privacy and also a home shelter on the left when you enter the house. Next interesting thing is that it has a sunken wardrobe in the master bedroom. Maximum space efficiency. Hope today's analysis allows you to have better insights about Trump Park. If you are keen to know more about Trump Park or want to make an appointment to view the Trump Park show flat, feel free to contact me. Do remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. My name is Jolene and I will see you in the next video.